of the rising stars where we sit and explore and discuss to expose the talents that are embedded within uh, artists local artists in Zimbabwe those within the region and even those uh, far afield in terms of uh, geographical location today uh, we have uh, a young lady beautiful young lady who is an artist, a musician, who is uh, a recording artist, actually, if I should say. And uh, I'm not going to say her name because I would really want her to introduce herself because she's here on set and we would want uh, to talk to her and find out how she is doing in the music industry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the lady I have on stage. Like I've said, I would want you to introduce yourself. Just say your name to, to our viewers. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is Tarango and Yeah, Yeah, Drosta Rangu in Okay. Saka ko ko arts ko music. Yeah, do not be movila. In Zitaro Chimi movila, this time they went to Sudan. So that moment, you can get Memory in the villa. So the the, the, you, the name is Memo Villa, the soul designer. Okay, let, let me just find out why the soul designer. Yeah, I wanted to raise the souls. <sighs> Okay, and raise the soul. So, which means your music is supposed to be soothing the souls of people, uplifting the souls. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Tina Memo Villa, the soul designer on Rising Stars here at Blessed Media. A soul designer. It's it's interesting. You mentioned something about being in in Sudan, and usually music is a way of communicating. But at the level of personal communication when you were in Sudan, how were you communicating? What language were you using when you were in Sudan? Yeah, in Sudan, Kumeshan is Arabic. So, in the Kwanza, four years. Four years? So, in the Kwanza, it's the language. Okay. In the Kwanza, we communicate in Arabic. Using Arabic. So, you can speak Arabic. So, what other languages can you, can you speak fluently? Yeah, I've been in Kenya. Kenya. So okay. I can speak Swahili. Kiswahili? Yes. So you can speak Arabic, Kiswahili, English, Shona. Shona yes. Okay. Wow. A little bit of Korean. Yeah, that I was just learning it myself. So you can also speak Korean? Yes. Ah, oh, that's quite interesting. So within the arts, we can then expect reggae music in Arabic, reggae music in Korean, reggae music in Kiswahili coming from you. Yes, yes. Ah, that is quite interesting. There you have it, folks. I am talking to Memo Villa, the soul designer, and it's quite interesting that besides being a reggae and dance artist, she is a multilingual person, which implies you can fit into, into any uh, community when it comes to communicating with the people and sharing the, 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 the information and music. This is uh, great. A, Soul designer, allow me to call you the soul designer because this is catchy. Soul designer, yeah. how do you come up with your lyrics? Yeah, my lyrics uh, sometimes in Rongo Funga, which in the Dagum does something about this. Sometimes in the Kwanza won something, to Kansa come up with something. Okay. So, Tingamoti generally is the environment around you that determines what you, you say. Now, going even into, as we are talking about the lyrics, let's get into your song, Missing You. 
Yeah, I think this is one of the songs that you recorded earlier on, and this is one of the songs that has been shared and played all over the place. And we would want to know what inspired you to go into the song Missing You. Yeah, missing you. Chagan is inspired. She like one morning watch Dana. Bozo Nissan, a social team, no gonna Nissan. Saga is it was a message for the moon. Like when they done an act in Chibu Funga. Ah. Okay. So so we can we can safely say whilst it was a projection on how relationships goes, but it also then personally relates to what you were also going through. No, yeah, you related about that relationship in terms yeah, of what yeah. I was going through, but it's it's the general observation about relationships. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And um, the song Missing You, how far have you been able to really send it out to, 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 to the people because songs that suit the people's souls. Reggae music is all about soothing the soul and dance soul is also about soothing the soul and making sure that we get people into the party mood. But Missing You is a song that is to soothe the souls of lovers who are maybe staying a distance away from each other or they are apart because there is a small challenge. How far have you been able to, to send it out so that it then plays that part of soothing the soul? Yeah, in reggae music, one for Rama love songs. So, as you know, when you have problems, you have to take a look at it as a song. So, I have a conscious rhythm. I have a conscious rhythm. I have a conscious rhythm. Okay. Well, she's talking about the song Missing You and uh, we will be able to, to listen to this song uh, after we take this commercial break. and we are still continuing our discussion with Memo Villa, the soul designer, the artist we have today. She is a reggae and dancehall artist in Zimbabwe. Soul designer. How many songs have you recorded so far? Just now I have 13. You have 13. Um, 13 songs, is, it, is this an album or it's a singles collection? Angorma singles. Angorma singles, yeah. So, are you intending to come up with an album? Can I do it? But you want to singles, 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 and whatever I did, this one as well. Right now, I'm not sure that I'm singles, but she has a Pangera which is Kazam album. Like, you should sing my singles and you can say, Eric, Eric, dance or commercial. Commercial dance or, okay. So, in, 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 in these singles, uh, what is the general message that you have been sending out uh, to, to, to all the people? Because I'm just borrowing from your name, Memo Villa, the soul designer. What is the general message going out in all the 13 singles? Yeah, message is mm -hmm. Okay. So we, we, we can simply say part of the theme is going along with the, the movement that we have, the global movement, in terms of eradicating gender-based violence, yes. especially on women and children. Yes, yes. 
Ah, uh, super. So, Papa, my songs, Ipapo, which song can you say this is the song that really, really is talking about eradication of gender based violence? What is the title of the song? Is fair. Is fair. Mm. Okay. Um, so in in Batsira in terms of uh, eradicating gender-based violence, that is very good because it is a topical issue in, in our society, it's a topical issue in the community, and we would want to have it coming through. So you know and uh, we'll be able also then to you know educate because the purpose of music is to educate the people out there. So Iwewe as an artist. Uh, music you have recorded, you have shared, but uh, what has been your experience with the local radio stations in terms of taking your music? What has been your experience? Yeah, experience music Okay. Which is a challenge for me. Okay, so any, any, you, you, did you receive any feedback from any of the media houses in terms of the music that you had, you had settled in uh, for, for, for their quality standards so that it advises you as you go with the, 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 your next recordings? No, 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 we hope that those that compile the libraries for the music and all those that compile music that is played on our local stations will also take it upon themselves to promote the local talent that we have. And this is why we are hosting you here at the Rising Stars, so that we then get to explore uh, the talents that we have and put them to the fore for people to appreciate that we have local talent that is coming through. Now, Tichi uh, Fambiramberi, the journey you have told us, Paisakatangira, and the inspiration in terms of recording the music, projection yako in terms of your recordings, any international artist that you think one day I should be able to record my music with these ones, who maybe I should say, who are your role models in reggae music and dance world? Because every artist says I'm inspired by so and so, I'm inspired by so and so, I would want to do a collab with so and so. Any of the international artists or even local artists that you would want to do uh, collabs with? Uh, in international, uh, I would like to have a collab with Chris Martin. Okay, ah, yeah. Chris Martin. Yes. Okay, but why Chris Martin? Yeah, because in Zwanimba, Animba, Shushan, Yeah, and uh, it's inspired so me. Mm. Yeah. And I know he was in the message. Okay. Yeah, I know Chris Martin is more of the the lovers people, you know, sings from the heart. So as as you as it goes well with your name, the soul designer, it can actually show that uh, uh, we hope that Chris Martin will also get to watch this Rising Stars episode and link up with you so that we have uh, a collab coming through. We hope it will happen in the near future. Okay. So, what tell us about your special and sad moments in your music career? Because there's always that part when you say this is a special moment. There's the part you say this is a very sad moment within your musical career. Yeah, my sad moment is. Uh, mm -hmm. There's one of the studios and I'm be nice to record. So there was this bit uh, a compilation. So in the end, I just didn't do that. We So you go and this bit we are going to So we are going to take a So we So we are going to take a ride. So we are to take a ride. So we are going 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 to take a Okay. So I, I, you, you, are, you are relating to exposure within the recording circles. If you are not yet known by people, it's very difficult to get an opportunity even to, to feature on a compilation uh, on a bridge compilation. Yeah. So those were the sad moments. But now, we, we cannot always dwell on the sad moments. Let's look at the happy times. 
Yeah, the times is when there are quite so who are normal students. I can see the company in Bashoti in the Yellow Church in the Nimba. For much as I know Nimba, she Nimba should say that she opens a good team of potato which she also does. So, Imba in there. Okay. In the moment at a gambo, Imba and the Mama artist in South Africa. So, in the Varachin, the moon, the best artist. Okay. So, uh, those moments, uh, you know, you should not be fat. Oh, that's super. Now, an issue of, uh, you know, that subtle way of not being identified. Let me just take my, my, my questioning further. As, as a female artist, because the, the, the people will always say this is a female dancehall artist, this is a male dancehall artist. Let's look at it from, from that end to say, as a female reggae and dancehall artist, what challenges are you facing besides not being given the opportunity to record at some, at some point? What, what, what challenges are you facing within the music industry as a female reggae and dancehall artist? Yeah, well, my challenges in the equity to achieve in my family. And now, support but Okay, mm -hmm. so we, we, we are saying we, this is one of the challenges that you face as a lady, as a woman in music to say there is still that disparity where people still perceive music as, as, as reggae music as an area to be dominated by males other than also giving the ladies the opportunity to come through. Okay, so in, in your own opinion, how do you think uh, the issue of gender equity within reggae and soul, uh, reggae and dance soul actually, can can be uplifted. How how can we promote gender equity in your own in your own opinion? What do you think should be done to, just to promote uh, the equity that we need to see? Yeah, on my own view, Okay. Ah, that's great. Um, we are still on the program Rising Stars today. I'm talking to Memo Villa, the soul designer, a reggae and soul artist. And she has just been taking us through the journey in terms of how she has progressed with music. She has recorded 13 singles and she's still continuing with the recordings. The challenges we have had, and I hope that uh, those that are watching will also be able to take the gospel out there and promote the female artists because we are talking about gender equity and we will want to give equal opportunities to all our artists that we have in the country. So, you see, we have been talking and talking and talking, but uh, people would always want to hear the voice because the voice that we are talking about. Uh, is the voice that has done 13 singles and has had one that we are calling the hit uh, song which is the song of the moment which is missing you and let me just take you back to it because that's the song that we would want to just to you know give us a bit of of missing you Tim Bones, missing you my lyrics <laughs> okay, so can can you just give us a bit of uh, missing you? Just take us through the song Missing You. Okay. Mm. Baby, have you ever wanted us to be together? Baby, this feeling of loving you is feeling in my catching in my cause baby I'm missing you right away. Yes, I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing you right away. Yes, I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing you right away. 
yes, I'm missing, I'm missing you. Uh, am I getting the lyrics yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, ah, okay. Yeah, so I, I, I think I should come and be a backing vocalist. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Memo Villa, the sole designer. She's a reggae and dancehall artist, recording artist, who has done 13 singles, and the hit song Missing You is the one that we were listening to. Now, Memo, um, we are approaching the end of the program. What advice would you give? to upcoming artists in the reggae and dancehall uh, generally. What, what advice would you give to, 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 to those upcoming artists? When I talk of advice, I'm just looking at both uh, males and females. Yeah, advice, I don't know even if there are challenges. Yes, I know, I'm going to say, I'm going to give up in music. Because uh, music, it's a good thing. Music, you know, inspire me. Sometimes, no concept of imagination of the team, a castle, who goes on the inspiration of concept of the Irish and the Kungans were through in listening to such kind of music. There you have it, folks. She is saying to all the upcoming artists and even the already established artists. When you are in music, make sure that you don't give up and continue to give people hope. Let's continue to spread the message of hope. Let's continue to spread the message of love and continue to spread the message of peace through music because it is only through the arts that we can reach out to so many of the people, reach out to the souls, and we can even remove loneliness. Jimba missing you. Sure. Yeah, missing home you see so there we are ladies and gentlemen we've come to the end of our program let's continue to subscribe to media to blessed media channel on youtube continue to communicate with us on the numbers that are flighted and then also continue to like our facebook page and give your feedback in terms of uh, what we are doing here let's continue to promote our rising stars and also tell us who is the next artist that you would want to see on Rising Star. We know you have so many of the Rising Stars within your community, not only musicians, but all the other artists that you have that have not been heralded or that have not been put uh, on the fore so that we also have them on the show. I am your host, Stonard Mafumo, also known as Father Two Kids. Bye for now. Mama.